Yo, what is up guys? I'm here hitting you up with a new video. So today, what I wanted to share with you is a unit I discovered recently while doing Battlefield of Time. And I do believe not, I think no one really talks about that unit a lot, but personally, after playing around with that specific Hunter, in my opinion, this is by far or probably the best SR unit in the entire game. And who am I talking about here? It is none other than Kim Chul. So why is Kim Chul so powerful? This guy provides you so much utility and crazy break effects and stuff like that. Before we go really into his kit, I do want to show you something. When I was uh, streaming on YouTube the other day, and doing Battlefield of Time. So here you can see I was doing Battlefield of Time and using Bike here um, against Igris. The, uh, it was the tier 5 stage, right? So if we look at the time here real quick, so how long does it take us to break Igris with Bike? So it took us actually 18 to 19 seconds to break Igris, okay? And on top of that, to get the defense break on Igris with bike, you have to connect. You have to use bike skills three times in total. Connect the last hit to get the 20% defense break on the enemy target or Igris in that specific case. And now I'm doing the same thing, but this time now with Kim Chul instead of bike. And here we can check out what happens when we are doing more or less the exact same thing but with Kim Chul instead with the same purpose so we start off with the raw attack which is a heavy break you can see how much break it does boom 13 seconds it took us 13 seconds to break Igris and on top of that one you can see 13 seconds and the defense break in certain sense. So we were able to cut five to six seconds. It was five to six seconds faster than using bike by just using Kim Chul, which is insane, which is literally insane. And now that we looked at this footage, let's look at this kit. So what really makes him so powerful? So where you unlock Kim Chul's real potential really is when you get him to Ascension 5. Yes, I know not everybody will have uh, Kim Chul at Ascension 5 as of right now. I do believe there are people who have him at A5. And also since he is a SR unit, eventually you will get him a to A5 naturally by just playing the game, right? So the important part about him is when he's at A5, his basic skill, the shield jump, now gets a defense decrease effect which has a death break effect by 16, so it's a 16% death break effect, lasts for 10 seconds. If we compare that to Bike, for example, he has a 20%, so his one is 4% stronger, but the requirement to get the defense break is a lot harder than you can get it with control when he's at Ascension 5. And then to top it off at Ascension 1, you can now use his shield jump up to two times and it also decreases his cooldown by two seconds. And that shield jump already only has an eight second cooldown. Now with the A1 effect, it's going down to six seconds and this one is 12 seconds. You saw that heavy break effect, right? Which was crazy. And to top it off, this one has more utility even. It has a stun which lasts for three seconds and he selves buff himself with 30% of his defense. So 30% defense buff for him. And he scales off defense, which increases damage. And as you can see, his damage output for the defense fierce roar is quite powerful. Like 1000 out of the box level one, Level 4 where you where most people usually stop, 1200% uh, percent, and at level 9 it's 1500%. And then you got this skill here that really doesn't scale too crazy, but it's more utility anyways, but it has a break effect and it has a defense break as well. And now if we look at this QTE when you like to switch uh, units, right? So <laughs> what you can do with his QTE is he stuns the targets for 5 seconds, which is absolutely insane. So how do we want to build Kim Chul? Ideally is I run a full set of the breaker set. Like 
attack percentage is not ideal but that wasn't the point so this is what i'm having equipped here right now on him it's the same thing i used in the video footage you just saw i just gave him a full set of the breaker set and i gave him a full set of the very distance set which i feel like is very powerful on him because then you can even decrease his cooldowns even further so the, when the shield jump is at uh, it has a natural six second cooldown and then you can cut it even uh, shorter to five to four seconds which like in battles where the bosses have like very tough break bars allows him to be on the field for a longer period of time just to spam his skills a lot during that specific phase to break them really quickly and then switch to the next hunter and when you have him at ascension 5 then you even get the defense break effect so this guy has a lot of utility he is also dealing decent amount of damage when built properly and he also provides shield to the entire party so in theory you could run a palace set but usually since he's a utility if you plan on not specifically using him for break uh, breaking bosses in general you could then run a palace set to make the shield thicker and boost the damage of your other party members just because when he's at ascension 3 he creates a shield equal to eight percent of the user's defense and it lasts for 10 seconds and then you just make a thicker shield but nonetheless the breaker set is probably my uh, personal favorite choice because you have him for the specific reason to break bars really this dude i will show you now in a different content how you can really use him and make him shine how can we use him for example in encore missions tier 10 spy that is for me personally i'm running the setup with mincha and csco has really no purpose except for just giving extra stats for the total power but i really don't need anything else just min and Cha is already enough for me to just kill the spider in like seven seconds or so obviously not everybody can do that so we can actually make the adjustment here and we make a setup and use for example so if you want to speed run it more or less right you can use kim chul on the first slot and you can give him either the weapon of bike or you can give him the weapon of wuchin chul for example because these two weapons provide defensive stats so we give him uh, bike's weapon for extra stats uh, and obviously he isn't built or anything just have the sets right so this is the setup we're running so let's go in so we use the fierce roar do the heavy break effect then we do the shield jump we do another shield jump then we keep attacking okay we gotta wait and now use it again switch to min switch to cha attack get the heal block out and you can kill him so you use the dancer like two times something like that and then you use the sword of light to inflict the buff block onto him to uh, make sure in case you don't have as much damage to kill him off just to inflict the defense uh, just to inflict the heal block off so when he comes uh, when the spider comes back it just has like i don't know 10 bars left really and then you can just kill it off a lot faster that way so obviously you can use him in different like content as well but i feel like where he really shines the most is in battlefield of time when you have like a boss stage for example where it's just a boss with a break bar and you're trying to clear it as fast as possible he helps you out to break the bar super fast then applies a defense break and then you can swap all to your different party members to really inflict the damage and that's why he's really 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 great as well and you can use him in spy for for tier 10 on commission for the spider for example or in general just just to showcase like an sr unit unit which shouldn't be overlooked um when it comes to solo leveling that not like it's only all about the ssr but there are some also sr units which have quite the potential and i thought making a video about kim chul is nice because no one really covered him so that's why i made this one and i also do believe in my opinion that he's the best sr unit in the game so that's it for today's videos guys thanks guys for watching if you didn't subscribe already feel free to subscribe leave a like and a comment down below and see you with the next one deuces